recording? Mm -hmm. Skidoo Rev. Uh, this is a 2003 uh, 600HO. And I'm dropping the track because I want to put a 136 track on it from the Renegade. Um, everyone tells me that's stupid, but oh well. So first of all, you have a bolt here and a bolt here on these two on these two wheels and then you want to get can you come in real quick this bolt and completely take it off but i took the beaver i had a beaver tail off and i deleted it so to jack it up i put wood under these jacks and did it that way i don't recommend it but that's how i did it and it's a 16 for both this one and this one and uh and you take the tension off the track with these. You don't have to take, I don't take them all the way out. I just loosen them up. And uh, you just gotta go out because there's a lot. So they come out quite a bit. You get the bolts down here for the track, do these ones. Cause once, once you do that, nothing's holding it back up. So it's a 16. Both sides. Knock this one out real quick. Um, so we got the track dropped. And the suspension and all that. And I'm just looking at my heat exchange. Making sure. I know it's fine. But well, you have everything dropped. I'm going to take this completely out tomorrow. A uh, quick update. I just pulled the suspension out, and that's pretty easy. Once you get all those bolts out that I did, you just manhandle this thing out. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is take the battery out, take the um, chain case apart, and then take the track off. And instead of getting a 136 um, suspension um, track, all that, I'm just going to extend this with that. I think SPS or SP makes them. I forget what they're called, but they go on. They extend it. Um, so the SLP extensions came in, and I uh, I updated my phone, and I lost the recording of when I did. It was just one bolt I took out um, that I lost the footage to. But um, on the bolt that is closest to the front of the sled you want to do at the same time because if you don't it just turns in it turns into a major cunt so loosen it up but leave it in there then do your other one and then you know you can take them out that way but it, it got pinched so it was turning weird it was just a mess but i got got it out and i ordered some idle wheels because i had one that the bearings were bad in uh, well three but so i ordered three idle wheels and i'm waiting for those to come in i destroyed my rear axle so i ordered a new rear axle but i haven't got any of the parts in except the rear axle and this but i have to send these back because it does not fit in my sled i don't know why but when i ordered it i didn't choose the right one uh that was just stupid of me but um I'll make a part two of this, of putting it all back together and ordering my new track and what track I go with and um, all that. But um, yep, thank you.